Hey you guys, this is Reggie. Um, wanted to come at you today to talk about Jacob Blake. Jacob Blake, the guy who was shot in the back seven times in Wisconsin. Uh, the person who is the reason why Wisconsin is literally on fire right now. I saw the video. I saw the full video. What's going on here? Why are we doing this again? We're making the same mistake that they did with George Floyd. The same mistake. Matter of fact, this is... George Floyd is actually was excusable. Well, the video that we saw with the knee in the neck, I mean, I can understand that more so than the video that we saw of Jacob Blake being shot seven times in the back. This man was wrestling the cops, was walking away from the cops when the cops had the guns pointed at him, telling him not to move. They were telling him, don't move. This guy was blatantly not listening to the cops, going in the car, looking like he was about to pull something out of the car. It's obvious. Did you see the video? He was walking to the car, not listening to the cops. Like an insane person, going in the car, ready to pull something out. I mean, that's what it looked like. If I was in that situation and I was in the cops, if I was the cops, if I was the cops, and I was, I would think, just like I did when I saw that video, that he was trying to pull a gun out. Because he was not listening. He had two guns pointed at him, and he still wasn't listening to the cops. He was walking to the car while his kids were in the car. He put his kids in danger. He put his kids in danger. In a situation where there's guns drawn, he chose to walk in the car where the kids are seated. And people are mad that he got shot. People are saying the cops weren't justified to shoot him. The cops are justified, bro. The cops... The guy was walking in the car, looking like he was pulling something out. I would have done the same thing. Obviously, he wasn't intimidated by the guns. Which means he felt like he wasn't scared. He had something. I, I would automatically think this guy is crazy and he's looking to do some damage. A guy who's willing to walk away with a gun in your face, angry, just came out from fighting with the cops. Going in the car looking like he's pulling something out. You don't think the cops are justified to shoot him? Really? Watch the video. Watch the video. It's obvious. And now Wisconsin is burning to the ground. For a justified shot. The cops pulled up his record. He was a, uh, a guy, had felony assault, had an open reward for his arrest for domestic abuse and sexual assault. That's not seriously the reason why I think he had an open warrant for him right then. I think he broke parole or something like that. But that was on his record. So the cops already knew he was a dangerous guy who had a tendency for violence. Even if that wasn't the case, even if that wasn't the case, he wrestled and fought with the cops and walked away with guns drawn. Going in the car, looking like he's about to pull something out. What do you think the cops are going to do? You think the cops are going to sacrifice their lives? You think the cops, do you think the cops are God and can just, oh, well, he's not going to try to hurt us. The other day, I saw a very same situation. When they were detaining a man, they even tased him. The tase, he got tased. He shook off the tase and he beat off the two cops, took a gun and shot the two cops. Same situation. I saw a, a video, a body cam footage, a dash cam footage of that very scenario happening. The cops tried to tase the dude. They tried to, and it didn't work. They tried to wrestle him. They chose not to shoot him with the gun. And the guy was strong enough to beat the two cops, go in this car, get the gun, and shoot the two cops. 
So you think with cops knowing that that story, no, knowing that that happens all the time, you think they gonna take a chance with Jacob, a guy who has an open warrant for his arrest, a guy who has committed domestic abuse and sexual assault before? Are you serious? Where's people's common sense? I'm serious. Where's the common sense? It's gone. Everybody's an idiot. I swear. Even the mayor came out coming against the cops before all the information was even displayed. Uh, the governor of that state. I think it was the governor and the mayor. We got to vote these Democrats out. All these things are happening in blue states. In blue states, Democrat ran places. This is, it's, it's all happening. But Republican is the party of racism. But all these racist shootings are happening in blue states. Blue governors, blue um, councils, blue police chiefs, Democrat, Democrat, Democrat. But Republican is the party of racism. Think. Think. They're brainwashing people out here. They are brainwashing people out here. And it's so frustrating because you would think the human capacity to reason would be able to see past this. That's why before I was a Christian, I was a nihilist. That's because I saw how stupid people were and how they, see, they saw only what they wanted to see. And it was disappointing. But. There's hope. There's hope. There's hope. I don't think this could last forever. I don't. Hmm. Oh, maybe it can. We don't know. But. Anyway, the shooting was justified. He was arresting the cops. He was going in the car, looking like he was going to get something. It was a justified shoot. If I was a cop, I would have done the same exact thing. And you know, it would have never made the news. You know why? Because I'm black. Nobody cares if a black person shoots nobody nowadays. No, it, no. I would have gotten away. You know, I would have I would have never gotten in trouble for it. Like these two cops did. The reason why it's in the news is because it's two white guys that happened to shoot a black guy. And it was Jacob Blake's fault that he got shot. He put his kids in danger. He brought the cops with the guns in that whole confrontation, that whole brawling and fighting. He brought it to his children. And he wanna blame the cops. Golly, so dumb. Anyway, you guys, share this video to support, subscribe to support. And you guys, you guys agree with all that I've been saying, even with the past videos, speak up, please. We need more voices speaking truth. We do. The stupidity is getting bad out here. That's why I homeschool my kids. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.